Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use the camera mouse software with your webcam to navigate through your lexicon pages. I'll start by launching the camera mouse application and it will look for a video source. I'm using a built-in laptop webcam but you can also use an external USB camera if you don't have one built in. And once it finds that video signal it will show up as a live stream in the camera mouse window and you can click on a feature a green box will appear and as you move from side to side the green box will do its best to follow the feature that you've selected. So depending on your lighting conditions and your facial features you might need to experiment to find the feature that works best for you. So for me in, in, this, in this lighting I'm going to use my left eye. Let's move to the settings now. This is how the camera mouse settings are configured by default but I prefer them to be a little bit different. So I'm going to first of all disable the inactivity option on the camera mouse control. I only want it to begin working when I press the scroll lock key and I want to end the camera mouse control when I move the mouse or touch the mouse pad or press the scroll lock key. I'm also going to enable the clicking feature so if I hover over a control the software will uh, will generate a left mouse button click if I hover there for a given amount of time. So I like a smaller radius. This is the radius over which it's looking for a control feature and a one second dwell time is good. Uh, you can make that longer or shorter depending on your precision in controlling your mouse pointer with your, uh, your facial features. So uh, For smoothing, I have a tendency to overshoot my target so by turning on smoothing to a very high value I can approach the target and uh, it takes more time because it's time averaging but then I'll get there and then not overshoot it one direction and then back the other again and uh, that works nicely for me. I'm also going to change the horizontal gain this is the responsiveness of the mouse to your your feature motion so by having a high gain value a very small amount of facial feature movement will produce a large amount of mouse movement. If I set this at low, it takes a lot of movement from my face to result in the, uh, a smaller amount of movement on the mouse. So uh, that works best for me. I can also exclude a portion of the screen if I have an address bar at the top or a taskbar at the bottom and I don't want to inadvertently launch uh, another application or navigate to another web page. I can eliminate that portion of the screen from the camera mouse control. Finally, once you get the settings the way you want them, you can click on the save button and then the next time you open the camera mouse those settings will become the defaults so you don't have to go through that process again. So now I'm going to minimize the camera stream. You can actually remove it completely but I want to leave it open so that you can see how my head is moving and how the mouse is responding. I just press the scroll lock key so now as I move my head from side to side the mouse is, is moving with me tracking my left eye. So I'm going to select a page I'm going to select child 1 from the list. There it is and load it. Okay, there's the child one home page. I'm going to select I want to eat. I want to eat. Clear it. And then build a sentence. I want Apple. And speak and clear it. I want Apple. And I can navigate back to the home page. So using the camera mouse control I'm able to navigate through my lexicon pages using only my head. Thank you.